Nancy is a conductor's daughter. One day she was working on Scarloe with some polish and a rag. Scarloe was snoozing happily, but Nancy wanted to talk. Wake up, lazy bones. Your brass is filthy. Aren't you ashamed? No, yawned Scarloe. You're just an old fuss pot. And Scarloe closed his eyes. He was thinking about his friend Reneus and all the good times they had shared before Reneus went away to be mended. Nancy interrupted again. Don't you want to look nice when Reneus comes home? Scarloe wasn't sleeping anymore. What? When? Soon. Daddy told me. I'm going now, she said. Nancy, stop. Do I really look nice? Please polish me again. <laughs> now who's an old fuss pot? Laughed Nancy and set to work once more. Duncan was jealous. Aren't you going to polish me too? Sorry, not today. I'm going now. I'm helping the refreshment lady this afternoon. We must get the ice cream ready for the passengers. Never mind, Duncan. But Duncan did mind. It isn't fair, he complained. Peter Sam gets a special funnel. Sir Handel gets special wheels. Passengers get ice cream. But well, I'm not even polished. Of course, this wasn't true. But Duncan enjoyed complaining. He became sulkier still. That afternoon, there was bad news from up the line. One of Scarloe's coaches has come off the rails, called Duncan's driver. We'll have to take workmen there right away. All this extra work, grumbled Duncan. It wears an engine out. Rubbish. Come on. The derailed coach was in the middle of Scarloe's train, so he had gone on to the top station with his front coaches. Duncan shunted the works train into the sidings and left the workmen to sort out the mess. Then he brought the passengers and the rear coaches home. He sulked all the way. I get no rest, I get no rest, he muttered. Duncan made the journey very difficult. He was short of steam, so his driver waited a while in the hope of raising more. But Duncan wouldn't try. We'll keep our passengers waiting, said his driver. Duncan was cross. You always think about the passengers and never about me. It wasn't long before Duncan built up enough steam to set off again. But he was still very grumpy and cross. I won't work and I won't stand it. At last they reached the viaduct near the station. Come on, Duncan, called his driver. One more effort, then you'll have a rest and a drink at the station. Then Duncan was very rude. Keep your old station. I'm staying here. And he did, too. Scarloe had to haul Duncan and his train all the way to the platform. The passengers were furious. They told everyone what a bad railway it was. That night, Sir Topham Hatt spoke to Duncan. No passengers means no polish. And no polish means no passengers, Duncan muttered to himself. He still has a lot to learn, doesn't he? <laughs>